Hello, hello, this is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, coming to you today with a Diabetic Minute for everyone who wants to get and stay healthy. And on Friday, we stay healthy by making our hearts smile. And today we're gonna to talk about some Friday heroes, okay? Um, first story, out of Florida, new bride, she gets married, has a fantastic day, and two days later, she gives the gift of life to someone else. No honeymoon for her. Um, she swapped her wedding gown for a hospital gown to donate a desperately needed kidney. Wow. The kicker, you're not gonna believe it. The kidney was donated to her new husband's ex-wife. Now that is really stepping up, wouldn't you say? Um, she and, and her new hubby had a good relationship with the ex-wife, but, you know, a normal relationship when you're trying to raise kids um, after a divorce and you're trying to keep things stable. But when the ex-wife uh, it became apparent that she was going to have to have a kidney transplant. It was right at the same time that their daughter was pregnant with their first grandchild. And uh, the bride was like, I just can't imagine, you know, this daughter going through pregnancy, losing her mom, or the, or the mom never getting to be a grandmother, or the child never getting to know <laughs> the grandmother. So she was tested just to see if by any chance she would be a match, and she was. She had lost a brother uh, that was waiting on a lung transplant, so she understood how important it was to get it done fast. So she scheduled it for two days after the wedding so that they could do it as quickly as possible. Everything went well, everybody's doing great. Um, she said her wedding day was her most amazing day until two days later another most amazing day. Now, that's my kind of hero. <laughs> she stepped up all the way. And then my next story for today is out of Cape Cod, and you might have heard about it. It's a whale of a tail. <laughs> Man totally swallowed by a humpback whale. Now, he was a lobster fisherman, and he was on the bottom uh, hunting for lobster when all of a sudden he felt this pressure and it, then it was all dark and he he thought maybe he'd been swallowed by a great white um but then it didn't feel that way but he could feel himself moving so he knew he was in something um evidently the whale who didn't normally eat people wasn't particularly happy either about having this thing in his belly so he made it to the top of the water spit the guy out <laughs> and went on his way. Scientists say that the like krill and stuff that the whale was eating on the bottom, that he probably, because the water was murky and, and they go fast, didn't realize that he was swallowing this um, fisherman. But needless to say, the guy's really happy. <laughs> And he's looking at the biblical implications of having been swallowed by a whale and living. That's, that's definitely a whale of a tale. <laughs> and then the last story today, again out of Florida, and this just happened Memorial Day. There was a dad with his son who was seven and his daughter who was four, and they went out on the boat and they were anchored. And dad was fishing off the front and the kids were hanging on the back, just kicking, playing in the water. Well, the four-year-old girl let go of the boat for some reason, and the current was strong enough that it started taking her away. Well, the seven-year-old, thinking he was going to do good, he let go so he could go get his sister, and then dad saw what was happening, and he jumped in to try to get to both of them, but he couldn't get to both of them. And so he had to decide something, so he, he told his son, he said, swim to shore and get help and I'll try to get to your sister. Dad never got to the sister, but the kids had on life vests, so they were staying afloat, but she was just drifting further and further away. The little boy at seven is going against the current, 
to go into shore. So it took him a good hour to get to shore. He was smart. He'd swim a while, rest a while, swim a while, rest a while. But he finally got to shore, went to the nearest house, got the Coast Guard out that saved the father and the daughter. Everybody's fine. But what a tiny hero, seven years old. You would think he would have been frightened to death, but he was strong and he did what his dad asked and he got help. It's amazing what you can do. And so he's my hero for today, for sure. I hope all these stories warmed your heart a little bit and help you to start out with a smile in your heart for the weekend. I hope I found you safe. I hope I found you well. You know, I always hope I find you happy. I hope I find you sharing, <laughs> sharing these stories. They're great for, uh, again, making your heart smile. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. Thank you so much for being here. Um, may God bless and keep you until we connect again. I hope your weekend is whale free <laughs> and then you have a wonderful one. Bye-bye for now.